Hey everyone, Lorelin from the Mom Pup Quilt Shop. This is Long Run Wednesday. Thanks for joining me. Really appreciate your company. I'm working on today is a what did my husband call a quilt folio? So it's like um, a portfolio, similar idea, but just to hold quilts and not just like a bag to shove them all in. One that I can kind of lay a few on, put the top over, velcro the little straps, and away we go, sort of thing. You know, because we need quilt for you can have paper quilts everywhere, right? So I've designed this little bag here. <clears throat> I just kind of want to make it, I did it the width of what I have for my, my long arm. Um, and for the length, I just kind of chose something that would be a good size to cover all the majority of the size of the quilt. And then I chose a pattern to do on either side. So I thought about doing something myself, something myself up, but I really liked this one that's called Circle Fun. It's like kaleidoscope, uh, spiral scope, whatever it is that you remember that toy you had when you were a kid. So I've done gold on the bottom with white over here on this side. It looks very pretty, but very muted. So, you know, it doesn't want to catch anybody's attention too much. And then I chose a charcoal gray, I believe. And then I have a celery color in the bottom. Okay. Just make sure it's a little tighter there. Okay. So this is just a bag to carry stuff. So I'm going to make two little handles, a couple of Velcro straps, and then it's going to be done. It's going to be super easy. So I've already set up what I needed to do in my perimeter here, but then I realized I actually asked it to fit when I should have just been copying what I, we had already previously done and just moving it over. So that was my mistake. Let me just readjust this real quick here. And then we will get on our little merry way. I got my stitches at 14 stitches per inch because these are nice tight circles. I want to make sure that each little point is precise and the curvature on the circle is nice and even. All right, so I'm just going to stretch that just a smidgey there and we are going to quilt. Okay. Because obviously I want to be able to use this bag from either side. So now I've got white, uh, charcoal gray, celery, and gold to choose from. Whichever one ones I want to do it. Okay, that's not going to work for me there. Move that through. Hold this taunt. Okay. Go off on its merry little way. And we're gonna try not to get our thread caught. There we go. And then you can see how it's really gonna stitch up. You wouldn't have been able to see it too much with the white thread. Lovely. Okay. So that is our rose pal. Hope everybody had a fantastic Thanksgiving, Canadian Thanksgiving. I know the Americans have theirs next month in November, but um, we're Canadians, we do it early. <laughs> that still comes soon. <laughs> it's really cool. It's got a little spiral in the center, and then it does an outer one, and then an outer one from there, and then on the last one, it kind of pops out and does a few flowers and spirals in the corners, and then it kind of makes it stand out. Could probably uh, turn the monitor around here so you can see just a little bit of what's going on. There we go. So that's pretty much what's happening. Isn't that pretty cool? It's gonna look neat when it's all done, that's for sure. And at uh, the red, the red has already been stitched out, and then the black is what it's stitching on, working on right now. And if I had something else future, if I wanted to surround it with something, it would be colored green. So that's the next one to go after the sewing, right? The next in line. So this takes about 25 minutes to stitch out. We've already timed this one just because I, uh, I didn't want it to be too, too long. I know you guys got other things to do. So hang out, watch Lolin all day. Do you? Do you really? So I do have some good news. My 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 first entry to the fall fair ever. I entered two items. One was a very unique wall hanging. Um, it was done in a circle village sort of shape of our town of Erin and our the village in Hillsburg that we live in and combining kind of the two together. Um, it won first prize in this category. Um, totally stoked, let me tell you. I can't, I'm just thrilled beyond. I was hoping for even just a participation sticker, but I'll take it. Um, and my Santa quilt, that looks like it's, um, what do we call it, an attic window, attic window Santa. He won second prize for his category. So, 
I'm extra thrilled to see that too because I didn't get a chance. I didn't know. I didn't want to ask anybody to go looking for it. So, um, yeah, so super, super excited. So the Santa won second place for machine casing and machine quilting. So. And that was like a last minute sort of thing because I spent so much time working on the wall hanging that I didn't, I had a bag. I was going to enter my circle bag. I was like, eh, you know, where are you going to draw the line? You can enter in everything. So, um, but um, the Santa quilt fit under the lap quilt category. I thought it was the bed quilt category, but the lap quilt category. So that was very cool. It's nice little extra surprise. I've got to go and pick them up. Very excited about that. I've seen all the other winters, win winters, winners too. Kind of gives you the, the fair bug though, you know, now I'm already planning for next year. <laughs> but I said that before. Hi hey, Sophie. Can say hi to everybody? Hi. Hi everybody. <laughs> That's Sophie the Elfie. Right. <laughs> I want to be on camera, don't you? You just want to be on camera. Stop. And someone's in the outer ring. Or the second ring, sorry, not the outer ring. We're its way. So as for next week's Long Arm Wednesday, I think we'll probably, I have a few more quilts of valor I need to get it done up, so I'll probably do one of those. I am starting to get more customer quilts coming in, so I'll we'll be, we'll be happy about that too. So I'm going to start asking if they don't mind if we film them. So I will, you may see a few customer quilts hanging out here. And not just my quilts. <laughs> so that's the Here's hoping. We just did two beautiful ones this, um, these past few days. One was um, a Christmas themed one. And I did a nice little uh, meander over that. And the other one was a card trick um, quilt. It's very big and very beautiful. Um, and, it, and it turned out fantastic. We just did a uh, edge to edge uh, plaid pattern on it. And it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. I a little bit back there. Now it's into the outer ring. This one takes the longest, of course, because they're really big circles, and it comes up and does the little busy parts in each little block section here, so. And it stitches it all itself all the way up. Once it gets, it twirls around to that point, it comes as a flower, and then comes back and just twirls to the next corner, and does the flower, and goes back in. Very cool. Um, one of my quilt guilds is having a um, quilt show coming up 21st and 22nd of October in Orangeville. Um, Orangeville area, I believe it's in the, the center there, but I can always link proper information afterwards because I'm not 100% sure right now. Um, so if anybody is in the area and wants to go see some beautiful quilts, please do. Please do. You will be probably very much overwhelmed with all the duty and all the hard work that these ladies and gentlemen put into you know, making these quilts for people, themselves, even strangers. There's so many that are done for community members, you know, children in need, families in need. Um, oh, there we go. I'm doing a lot of those little sections right now. It's, uh, it's, it's something to get involved in if you want to, if you want to, you know, put yourself out there and, and help out. It's uh, always welcome, I'm sure. You don't always have to make quilts, you can just donate your community and donate your time. You know, it's not, money always doesn't always talk, right? It's time talk. I got itchy foot. You can stop. We call the socks thread catchers. Because <laughs> that's where the threads go on the floor. <laughs> and the socks catch. That looks really pretty. I'm glad I chose a different color. I didn't want to just do plain, um, plain white on both sides. Heads 
I'm going to use too, but I, I really just wanted it nice and stiff. I wanted to really kind of cradle those quilts. I don't want to be all floppy all over the place, right? I want to kind of do two little stiff sides holding those quilts in. And I chose a really tough denim for the back side here. It's just stuff that I had in my scrappy bit bin that was big enough. I, I kind of classified it as bag stuff because um, I really wouldn't want to put it in a quilt. And, um, I mean, this was okay. It was just a piece of, I don't know, I'm assuming just a drapery fabric or something like that. It's not very thick. It's not too thick. It's got a couple of little stains on it, but I think where I'm going to be using it, you're not even going to see that. So, reduce, reuse, recycle. Actually, I saw, um, um, some lady had posted an idea, I don't remember which uh, group it was in, but she was talking about doing a couple, if you do, uh, like two old towels. Put two old towels together, not necessarily with the batting, but you stitch them up on here, put a binding around it, you've got yourself a new um, bath mat for the bathroom. And you're just recycling two old towels, right? I thought it was kind of cool. She didn't want to get rid of it, so I guess they were uh, pretty, pretty towels at one point in time, but it's such a damn sentimental value. I think we, my husband and I had towels from when we got married. They were as a wedding gift, and we're coming on 22 years. <laughs> I think it's time to recycle those towels. <laughs> Maybe into a bath mat. <laughs> Alright, so I'm I love how it, when it comes in here, this little triangles, these little triangles, and it's, I don't know, it looks really cool. Cross hatching right around the edges here. Really pops. That charcoal really makes the, the whole spiral leaves pop. And it's so cute how it makes like a different pattern in the center, like there's the flower and then the spirals. And then you look at it, you see many different things all at the same time. So they, hopefully everybody's working on their Christmas shopping. Or Christmas creating. It's always a fun thing too. Don't always have to spend a lot of money. Don't always look for some, you know, people who have extra fabric and we're willing to donate it. <laughs> people like me sometimes. <laughs> Got a couple of bags in the back of my Jeep if anybody's interested in some fabric, let me know. Pretty much stuff I just can't use. I had to purge some of it, so. You may find something in there you may, you may be able to use. And I did use a couple pieces of batting here to finish this off. It, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna, I'm the only one using it. It's not like it's a quilt to cover somebody, so. I just did a little, about a half inch overlap. That's it. Well, maybe use up some pieces. And then all these little scrappy bits go off into making dog beds and cat beds and stuff like that. So it's coming around. So cool. Like I, like I said, I have green thread in the bottom. I didn't think I could see it even if I could because of the green backing, but only like two spots did I see the gold pop up from the back on the hair. That was really where it came in close to those flowers, really tight stitches. It's just a tiny one, tiny little bit. You can see I can't see any in there. Those are one of the things about using two different colored threads is um, seeing one from one side and one from the other, right? I was sitting here earlier, I was watching it, and it was coming really close. I almost got bumped in the face. <laughs> it's going to be so fun to watch. <laughs> it's just so 
seamless how it goes from one to the next, right? So neat. And I just set it up in the, the border space and, and pop the other, this exactly one over there and I'm very similar in size. I left a gap in the center of about an inch and a half just to have some sort of an easy fold spot for the two sides to come together to surround the clothes. Yeah. So, quilt folios, like for <laughs> patterns in uh, on the software. So you could probably do a table runner. Table runner or two. Christmassy type table runner. It's got holly on it and some um what do they call that? Cross hatching. Sorry. Gotta think of it for a second. So in that little corner and I was just gonna keep doing it circles till it gets over here. the back until it's all done, so it's just fence. <laughs> How does the back look? Or the front look? It depends on which way you put the bag. It doesn't matter. So the Velcro straps that I'm going to do after to add on are just going to be a plain strip. I'm going to hem it, hem it on all four sides, and then put my strip of Velcro over those hems so you're not going to see those little hemlines, and then stitch it down. And then we're going to have one one way and one the other, so it will always go. So you can have it right at the tip for a big close or right snug end to end for smaller clothes to keep them all together. So it'll be very much adjustable in that section for the valve. Okay. And you can flip it from either side. You can have this side inside or this side outside. It doesn't matter. That's the way the valve is going to go. Okay. At least that's what I have in the weight. And just put a couple of handles here on the ends. Little strips in here on either side, and that's it. They go together quite fast, I'm sure. We may do it as a quick second little side project for Long Arm Wednesday, like we did with the Mickey Mouse uh, Bingo Dauber bags. Quick little side project so you can have to put the straps on, make the handles, and that's it. Whoa. I mean, I just take a bunch of pictures of them and put it together and turn a little video. That's probably what we'll do. Let's see. It'll be on there somehow. And I guess if you were precise enough, you could switch out the colors of stitching before it moves on to that next little section. Like, I would leave this together because that's a little bit too complicated. So. Well, you could. I mean, it's totally you just have to stop the pattern. Stop it from stitching, switch it out. It would be a very interesting to go like a rainbow color, like red, orange, yellow, greens, or something. I don't know. You get to create it. Walt well, just helps. <laughs> Such beautiful weather in the past few weeks. It hasn't feel, felt like the beginning of October, but today it does. <laughs> today very much so. Very chilly. I'm supposed to wear a mask for the rest of the week, so. He's hoping. Almost there. Oh, the 
pumpkins that we saw the other night. Oh my gosh, one was well over a thousand pounds. He was massive. And I, there was some sort of, um, some sort of bean or board or something. It was so long and green. They were huge. I know, I don't even know what they were. And the rutabagas. <laughs> Funniest looking rutabagas I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> All the joys of having a fall fair. Last time my husband and I went to that one, it was probably, our son was only not even three years old and he just turned 20, so it's been a while. So it was nice to just go and walk around and check out all the sights and the horses and the cows. Some of those um, the show cows are they get better looked after than some people I know. <laughs> Bathed and combed and fed and fluffed and you name it. Anyway, we're going on the last home stretch here. Cool. I mean, I could have chosen a very uh, non-complicated pattern, <laughs> but that wouldn't be me now, would it? This is just so cool. I thought it would be neat, like on the center of a quilt, not working your way out from that, but you'd have to you'd have to set it up all yourself to do that sort of thing. Walt couldn't do it. He only does this big at a time. portion of the, the school. Um, it was pretty much fully loaded when I first started. It was just a little longer. So it does take a lot of thread to stitch this out. I fully loaded the, the bobbin when we started. So I'll show you at the end. Let's take a bit. Well, you gotta think it just keeps going and going and going and going, right? And then this type here, I'm doing this tight stitch, I think it kind of eliminated the need for that. 
Um, but if you were doing like a looser stitch or something like that, I would probably would definitely suggest an uh, iron on one. Something you could easily uh, uh, machine stitch through. I've tried to hand stitch through some of that interfacing stuff and it's horrible. So try and, try and use your machine if you can. Pretty little flowers in the corners. Folio bag. It's been stitched up. Alright, so we'll do this. A couple little locking stitches because we don't want all the work, all the hard work to go to disappear. Okay. There, move this off to the side. Loosen the top one. Show ya. Pins. And I'll just flip this side back so you can see what that is. Yeah, this is some super tough denim, so great, great for a bag backing or front or whatever to take that wear and tear. So. I only plan on using these a couple times a month, so. Go take your quilts to your show and then you don't need to use your stuff. All right. Check that out. Isn't that pretty cool? Bit of green, bit of gold, bit of white, bit of gray. Awesome. Oh, I love that. It looks so beautiful. And like I said, look, you can just tell how, how stiff it is. So it's just going to cradle those two quilts, or the, cradle as many quilts as I can get in here. So that looks fantastic. I'm going to hear from the top part here. Hopefully you can see a bit. Can you see that? Can you see? Maybe. But that, my dear folksies, is Long Arm Wednesday. So... I will finish this up. Like I said, take a few, probably 10 or 20 photos as I'm going along so you can see how the finished product was. Um, but uh, that's pretty much the base of it really is add some handles and some straps and it's all done. So thank you very, very much for joining me for Long on Wednesday and sticking it out through this very spirograph phone. I know I had fun and watching it stitch out is just 
and so enjoyable. I don't know why. It's like, I don't know. I don't like cartoons. I don't watch TV a lot, so it's all good. I watch all. So thank you very much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Like and subscribe and tell all your friends and tell your homies. And this is what we love to do here at the Mom Pop Quick Shop. So thanks, everybody. Take care. And we'll see you soon. See you on weekend projects. Don't forget to check those out. Doing Christmas stuff. Bye.